Hi everyone, my name is Pansy from the University of Sydney. Today I'm going to talk about the in vitro comparison of originator and generic fixed dose fluticasone and cyamiterol combination metadose inhalers. So as we know, metadose inhalers deliver a fixed dose medication to the lung in aerosol form. Therefore, it is commonly used in the treatment of asthma and chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. In particular, the co-administration of inhaled corticosteroid and beta-2 agonists provide greater benefits due to the synergistic effects. Serotime MDR is one of the most popular combination products which contains fluticasone propionate and cyamiterosinophoid. It is manufactured by GSK. As it is such an established treatment, more generic products have been developed over the years. Given that India has the largest generic provider, it is not surprised that the drug companies in India are more interested in um, developing generic products of existing ICS and bronchodilators. But the regulatory body in India does not require in vitro assessment to show equivalence with the originator. So the aim of my study is to compare the in vitro aerosol performance between serotime metadose inhalers and its Indian generics, which are Seraflow MDI and EasyFlow Transhaler. Moving to the method, all products contain 215 microgram of fluticasone propionate and 25 microgram of semiterol. Two inhalers for each product were tested. And in order to have a more comprehensive assessment, the lifespan of each inhaler was divided into three phases, and each phase contained 40 pops. In particular, 10 dose uniformity tests and three aerodynamic particle size distribution measurements were done randomly in each phase. For the delivered dose uniformity, it is to see if the delivered dose is reproducible over the life of the product. The exaggerated dose was measured because it is the dose that exits from the inhaler and that is available to the patient. The equipment we use to measure the delivered dose uniformity is the dosage unit sampling apparatus. And this diagram shows the setup of a dosa. We can see that the inhaler is tightly uh, attached to the dosa so that the total quantity of drug emitted from the inhaler can be assessed. The next one is aerodynamic particle size distribution measurement. It is to separate the airborne particles into various aerodynamic size fractions. It determines the amount of fine particles lower than 5 microns of aerodynamic diameter, which is also known as fine particle fraction. The equipment we use to measure the APSD is the next generation impactor. For the principle of NGI, um, larger particles have more inertia, therefore they are more likely to deposit, um, to more, more likely to be collected into the early stages. And for small particles, um, they, are, they have more flexibility so that they can follow the change of airflow and deposit into the um, later stages. This slide shows the uh, exaggerated fraction of fluticasone propionates. Um, in the beginning the phase, there was no significant difference, but um, moving from the middle phase, the exaggerated fraction in seraflow was higher than serotype, and the differences were more pronounced in the end phase. Both Indian generics had a significantly lower exaggerated fraction than serotype, but in overall, there was no significant difference observed. This slide shows the uh, exaggerated fraction of semiterosinophoid. The results here was quite similar to the one in fluticasone propionate, so that um, we can see that the exaggerated fraction in serotype was about 100% across three phases, so that um, serotype produced more consistent exaggerated dose than both generics. As we can see in the last slide, um, both generics emitted higher dose at the start and decreased towards the end. Um, one of the explanation is the differences between the suspension formulations. Um, drug particles from all the test products are practically insoluble in the propellant of HFA 
1348. So um, it is common that particles may aggregate in the suspension. The size of aggregated particles is larger than its primar primary particle. Therefore, it is more likely to sink into the metering chamber after shaking and then got actuated. This slide shows the fine particle fraction lower than 5 microns of fluticasone propionate. It is important for inhaler to have a high FPF because particles with a aerodynamic diameter lower than 5 microns are more likely to deposit into the deep lung and produce the therapeutic defects. In the beginning phase, there was no significant difference, but moving from the middle phase, um, both serif flow and easy flow had a lower fine particle fraction than serif time. And interestingly, in the end phase, only the fine particle fraction in serif flow was significantly lower than serif time. But in overall, um, serif time had a significantly higher FPF than both generics. This slide shows the FPF of um, cerebrotoxinophoate. The result here is again very similar to one in fluticasone propionate, which means that serotai produces more small particles than both generics, and the drug particles in serotai are more likely to deposit into the deep lungs. In a clinical point of view, um, the anti-inflammatory and bronchodilation effect from serotai will, will be more promising than seroflow and PC flow. So generic inhalers produce less small particles than serotype. And one of the reasons is the uh, drug to propellant ratio in a dispersed droplet. So a droplet with higher drug to propellant ratio are more likely to form agglomerates after the propellant has evaporated. And for agglomerate, it has a larger aerodynamic particle size and which is more likely to deposit into the upper airway and less likely to reach the deep lungs. So in conclusion, serotype produce more consistent exaggerated dose and smaller drug particles than seroflow and EC flow, which means that both Indian generics were not equivalent to serotype in vitro. But the implication of the in vitro data is unclear, so that more in vivo studies are warranted to test the clinical difference. And this is my reference, so thanks for listening.